Hey, what is up everybody? So I just wanted to make a quick video discussing how I think Ultra Instinct Goku could fit into Dragon Ball Fighters as a DLC character and what the Ultra Instinct mechanic could, how it could work in uh, Fighters basically. So to start off basically, I would say that if you were gonna have Ultra Instinct Goku and you wanted to have him in the game, it's gonna not necessarily be him already transformed like most of the characters like Rose, uh, Super Saiyan Blue, Goku and Vegeta, Super Saiyan Goku, it's not going to be like that it would mostly be basically it's a trigger trigger thing so low health meaning i'd say like you got the lowest 30 30 percent of health and you haven't used a sparking blast yet basically i would say after you are down to that much health and i wouldn't say purposely like get yourself down there because uh, that's not safe in a game like this especially you have to have at least five or six keys saved up and basically for that period of time once it once you have five or six key and you're at 30 35 percent health it triggers an animation and you turn into ultra you unlock your potential basically and you can dodge you just straight dodging everything not but you're not totally invincible because obviously there has to be openings and ways for people to still fight you not just you be invincible the whole time and obviously you still be able to use a sparking sparking blast and stuff like that to get your health back and obviously for that set amount of time you'll only be able to use it uh for like i'd say the maximum should be like 45 seconds at most but also the next thing would be that once you because i don't i would say that using the transformation you would use up only like need one bar to actually do a super because you save up unless you start fighting and you gain up your key again but while fighting or just dodging everything, you are able to charge up a Kamehameha and basically do that entire time until it gets done charging, you let out an ultimate attack. And that that's one ultimate attack right there. There could also obviously be like many different variations. But for me, that's how I see it because having him be like a counter ultimate kind of guy kind of seems a little OP because you can just block the ultimates anyway. You don't need to have someone who can just react right away to ultimate like that like final flash if he dodges it and then would counter that kind of op because you could just use him all the time no one else would use any other character so there has to be a balancing point and that's why i say he shouldn't already be transformed because then that means that he's gonna have all these different crazy wacky things going on and he could have obviously different combos than the other gokus but he shouldn't have ultra instinct starting off from the from the you know from the get go of the match but it would be cool to see the intro for that and i mean you could do something like that but at the same time like i said it's kind of it's kind of risky with it because you want to make sure that the character is evenly balanced so that way he's beatable and still strong enough and you know flashy but basically that's how i'm seeing the character and how the gimmick could work for it obviously there are many other supers and stuff like that that I could go into, but I just want to explain my thing of how Ultra Instinct Goku's uh, ability would work out in the game because, like I said, you got to keep it fair and balanced. And a character like Hit, if you if you know the right combos, you could get dangerous with him. If you know the right combos with an Ultra Instinct Goku at the end, they release it. Trust me, it'd be devastating, and nobody would want to play you. But let me know down in the comments what you think about this and if you have any of your own thoughts of how Ultra Instinct Goku's uh, ability could work in the game. And I'll see you guys next time in the next video.